Finally, the roadblock has come back to G.I. Joe. Good to have you back, buddy. But by the way, where have you been? We didn't see you in the first movie. I've been the WWE Champion. Wait, WWE like WWF? People still watch wrestling? Oh, so what do you think of wrestling? Well, I think it doesn't matter matter what you think, go back to 21 Jump Street. Finally, you can get your Hot Toys Roblox at SideshowCollectibles.com. Link is in the description if you smell it loud. Well, you your... Hello, big kids. Here's your big review of the G.I. Joe Retaliation Hot Toys Roblox Movie Masterpiece 1 6 scale collectible figure. I'd like to thank SideshowCollectibles.com for sending me out this to review for you guys. You can buy this figure right now. Link is in the description. So here you can see the packaging has a nice picture of Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Roblox from G.I. Joe Retaliation. It says G.I. Joe Retaliation right there as well as has the Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece Paramount Hasbro logo. The sides of the box continue that same front picture with an R for Rock or maybe the other side is R for Roadblock. Top of the box says Roadblock 16 collectible figure while the bottom has the G.I. Joe Retaliation logo. Back of the box continues that same picture with the Roadblock R. It says Roadblock 16 collectible figure MMS199. Uh, it also has a warning label. Warning you don't want to choke on this figure or lay the smackdown on you. And when you remove the box sleeve you can see a nice window display of the Rock, I mean Roadblock. Uh, and with the R roadblock. The sides of the box just has that G.I. Joe red, white, and blue stripe. And the back of the box simply just shows the back of Roadblock with his cool crossbones logo right there. It has all the cast and crew who made the figure. It's time for this figure to lay the smackdown. And here we got the G.I. Joe Retaliations Hot Toys Roadblock 1 6 scale movie masterpiece collectible figure. Do you smell what Hot Toys is cooking? Well, it's an amazing figure. Let's take a closer look at it. Now, I think Hot Toys is did an amazing job on the head sculpt. It definitely looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I think it's pretty much near perfect. I know I've heard some complaints from the community it doesn't look like him, but especially seen in person and from different angles, it definitely looks like him, especially the more modern um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And it's just absolutely amazing, like all the skin tones. Um, let's see here, like all the, just the paint on here is pretty freaking amazing. Just wow, in the facial hair, and it just looks pretty intimidating. The skin tone on his bald head, oh man. When did uh, Dwayne Johnson like become Stone Cold in his appearance? Anyway, <laughs> one thing that's pretty amazing about this outfit, pretty much every accessory he has has weapon storage. There's only a few that a dozen, and I really love this combat vest that he has. Has the R for Roadblock or Rock if you choose to. By the way, this body. Um, you can take this off and it actually has all his tattoos, like it has this Samoan uh, tattoo right here which has some amazing detail all around. Um, you can take it off, like uh, I'll like provide some pictures or a link uh, where you can see that because taking this off, their Hot Toys, uh, the Rama Bull Rock uh, tattoo which you gotta love. Uh, Hot Toys did provide an instruction manual how you can take off this vest and uh, there's also instructions here. but. See all the detail right there. Blades, sheaves, um, he has this little uh, uh, brass knuckle like uh, pistol things. He has, um, oh by the way I love that little um, crossbones thing um, symbol right there. Love this freaking vest and the belt, you know he has sheaves. Oh yeah by the way these are accessories you put on here. He has a GPS tracker which is awesome and a watch, really nice watch. You know, he's the rock, he can afford it, bling bling, or part of the G.I. Joe's can afford it. All the straps right there. He has holsters for his gun attachments, which are amazing, knee pads. Yeah, I mean, most of the accessories he comes with, I have on here already. The tactical gloves he's wearing, knee pads right there. Just the amount of detail on this and the boots. You know, I love the dirt that are on the bottom of them. The paint apps are spectacular. That's the laces right there. One of the controversies of this figure, not only is the body supposedly not bulky enough, which maybe I can see it could be a little bit bulkier, but is that the, you can, the double jointed elbows that gives them, makes it easier for him to pose. Uh, people do not like that at all. They said they should have find a way to cover it. And maybe there could have been a way, but to me, I don't mind that um, the elbow joints are showing because you can like easily 
pose it where you don't see it as much. And then, you know, it's still the skin texture and everything looks pretty incredible on here, all the veins and everything, like the tattoos. So I'd rather have more articulation and you can see some joints. For articulation, uh, the Roblox head can move up and down. Uh, really good, sorry, and the thing keeps falling off there. <laughs> Those things I'll get to you in a second. But it fully rotates, you just gotta make sure you be careful when you turn the head that it's straight. The arms can fully rotate, they can go in and out this way and go in and out really good here. I really love the joints. They rotate at the bicep, by the way. Two points of elbow articulation, which I love. Rotate the wrists and go in and out. He does have an ab, upper ab crunch um, that goes forward and back and kind of pivots side to side, but the vest kind of restricts it a little bit because it's very tight on him. But he does have a waist joint that fully rotates and pivots side to side. The legs do go forward and back a little bit. All the straps in here might restrict it just a little bit can go in and out, rotate at the upper part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee, and the ankles fully rotate, pivot forward and back, and has an ankle pivot, so really good articulation. Now Roblox comes with two sets of instructions. One, in very detail, tells you where to place all his different weapons, and uh, how to remove his coat and switch out to his shirt. You also get this little caution uh, about his zippers not to break them. He gets three pairs of hands besides his pistol uh, rifle holding hands. He has these relaxed hands that kind of hold stuff. These are the ones that come in the box. He also comes with a pair of fists, you know, because he's like ready to pound, like, you know, give you, lay the smack down. And he comes with a pair of extra wrist pegs in case you break them. Just like Storm Shadow, he comes with these extra pair of little but then things that uh, in case they fall off him, you can uh, put them on, back on. What's cool about Roblox, he has these brass knuckle attachments. By the way, he has the holsters I showed you. Uh, they, uh, mine, like, they, they have a tendency to fall off a little easier than I wanted, but they seem pretty good if you get them in right. Detail on these attachments are really nice. And what's cool is that they have so many interchangeable pieces. They have this blade that he keeps in his chest pocket and it's really easy to attach to it. So you have like a knife right here. You also get um, this little uh, blade piece right here which you can also attach to the very front right there to make it like a double bladed weapon. You also get this other blade that's just meant to uh, be in the little sheath that's on the front of his uh, vest. He also has this baton piece right here that he has that sheath in his back that you can attach right here to make him like a uh, baton um, weapon. Or you get two of these little gun attachments that actually like can uh, become part of the uh, little brass knuckles to become like dual pistols which are very awesome. They fit in very nicely. You also get this nice pistol that has some really nice paint apps and detail. It has actually a removable magazine clip which you can see here has the bullet right there um, in the chamber. You can actually, comes with a couple attachments, comes with a special attachment right here so it fits right on the gun, clips in. And you also get this little suppressor to make it a silencer, which you put it right there. And yeah, you got that. So get this machine gun, which is really nicely detailed. And it has a bunch of moving parts right here. It has a removable magazine like chamber thing that has this, uh, nice uh, chain of bullets right here that you fit in right there and it actually has moving parts you can put up here uh, put the little like uh, tripod right there thing on there has all these amazing detail and just awesome paint apps on here it looks so freaking cool really appropriate of roadblock i wish he came with his big old minigun you get a black t-shirt if you want to change him into his other look that he had in the movie and you get the standard hot toy sense as roadblock jojo -Jo retaliation with the adjustable cradle drive it like you stole it um as your good friend you need a new catchphrase okay time to lay the smackdown on your rudy boo candy don't Still my catchphrase, you jabroni! I the latest smackdown on freaking Magic Mike. Size comparison time. So here you can see that Roblox is actually in great scale with other 1-6 scale figures. Uh, he's taller than Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe Retaliation Line and taller than Cobra Commander uh, from the Sideshow Collectibles Classic G.I. Joe Line. I am super happy for this. And not only is it an amazing likeness to Dwayne Johnson, but you get so many freaking awesome accessories and all the interchangeable parts and all the different uh, different display options you have with him. He has so much fun factor on here. I've been so happy with the G.I. Joe Retaliation Hot Toys line. I mean, every figure just has so many cool accessories and either like just look amazing and just 
I'm so happy to have them. I hope they do a Cobra Commander. I'm like, I really would want more. I would love to have the whole team of both good guys and bad guys, especially you need more bad guys. Whether you're a fan of G.I. Joe and especially G.I. Joe Retaliation, or you're just a fan of Dwayne Rock Johnson, this is definitely a must-have figure, I think. I think he exceeds everything I wanted in this figure and super happy to have him. And you can buy this right now at SideshowCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Thank you to Sideshow for sending me out this figure. I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. You can also win a Hot Toys Mandarin figure from Sideshow Collectibles. Link is in the description. Uh, thanks Sean 3.0 for voicing Cobra Commander in this review. And check out my website SeanXLong.com and HugeNerd.net. I'm Sean Long. Remember to live long and love life. Check out Sean Long. Jason David Frank. Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> Remember kids, when you see me lay the smackdown on John Cena on TV or blow up Cobra in the movies, it's not real. So please, don't play with guns or don't lay the smack down on your friends because that's not what a good guy does. The more you know, and knowing is half the battle. Wait a second, The Rock is part of G.I. Joe? Retreat! Know your role and shut your mouth if you smell it all. What the Roblox is cooking. No, I can't smell what The Rock is cooking. I'm wearing a mask, you stupid idiot.